Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Reuse, or Reuse, or not quite sure how it's pronounced. Uh, I literally just picked this game up 20 minutes ago, for all intents and purposes. I've been messing around with the uh, options menu for the most of that, actually. Uh, there, it's got options for resolution, but I can't seem to mess with it no matter what I do. You know, changing it doesn't seem to do anything, and full screen, I just don't feel like doing full screen. But uh, I did find that you can just resize the window and the game automatically uh, adjusts. Also, the uh, background moving is kind of trippy. So, never played this game. It has a very, from what I saw from the previews, has a very, uh, feels like black and white. And I used to love that game. So I thought it was going to be really cool. Supposedly about uh, giants that you control that shape the earth for you and do things. And in turn, uh, the humans on that earth will... Uh, respond to what you do and do things with you, from what I could tell? Uh, not quite sure. Uh, it's, it's a game that looks like it's got some, like, 105 achievements for very little things from what it looks like, and that's what really caught my attention. It looks like a fun game, uh, kind of FTL, like that I'm going to be able to enjoy, and uh, hopefully, if all goes well, uh, work towards 100%ing. So we're just going to go ahead and hit new game here. Uh, game mode beginning, I guess. Uh, do I... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not allowed to, uh... Yeah, I'm not allowed to learn this. Okay, so, game mode beginning, era, I don't get a choice. We're gonna get in the first era. Sure, I have no idea what that means. Uh, planet, you must awaken from your slumber. Your service is dead, and only you have the force to bring life. Am I the planet? Press any key to start. Okay, I'll just click. Uh, you have awakened from your slumber. You find your service dry and barren. It is lifeless. Well, that's typically not good. Uh, using the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and the... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, that is really responsive. Wow, uh, okay, question, how to zoom... Okay, well, that's, uh, very helpful. So that is, that's just one level of zoom. This is fully out. That's one level of zoom, and then it's, it slowly moves in. But, uh, you know, from then, I mean, this is, this is, this, this is, this, this. I hope it's not giving anybody a headache. Okay, so let's go zoom back out again and hit next. So hit, uh, use the left mouse button to click and drag the planet. Okay, so if I want to send the planet spinning, uh, it's an option. Look, I have three clouds. I, I feel special. Okay. I can also use the arrow keys to move left and right. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, interesting. Create the giants. Using what little strength you have, you create the ocean giant and the rock giant, the instruments of your will. Let's see this happen. Okay, so let's zoom in. And using my tremendous and prodigious strength, I create... I think it's the ocean giant. It looks like a crab. I'm going to assume that's the ocean giant. And somewhere in this direction, that looks like the rock giant. And oh, they look so cute. Especially the rock giant. I like him. He and I are going to be friends. Okay. Your goal is to have life roam your surface eternally. And to start, you will turn this dry late wasteland into a paradise. Awesome. I like paradise. Uh, you can click on the giant or its portrait in the lower left corner of the, uh, with the left mouse button to view its ability bar at the bottom of the screen. So that's going to be over here. Awesome. Okay. You can use your right mouse button to click on a patch of land or to, to order the selected giant to move. You move the rock giant and the ocean giant closer to each other. So let's go ahead and uh, we've got the ocean giant. Let's move him over in this direction. He's just going to side shuffle over here. That's typical for a crab, so I understand that. And we'll move him right there. Is that close enough? No? Okay. Well, let's just... Let's piggyback. How does this? Is this good? Okay, so apparently that's good. You can use the left mouse button. Click on a patch of land. View statistics in the upper right corner of the screen. So apparently that's what this is. So this is just a patch of wasteland with no natural resource. I gotcha. Dry wasteland cannot sustain any life and must be terraformed in order to become habitable. Okay, got it. Habitable. Use the Create Ocean ability of the Ocean Giant on a nearby patch to create an ocean. Well, that seems fairly useful. Okay, so signature move, apparently, of the Ocean Giant. The Ocean Giant creates a mighty ocean, which it will provide rain for the surrounding area. Creating an ocean on a village will destroy it. Well, let's not do that. If you use on a mountain, it will level the mountain, so cooldown is five seconds. Okay, so let's use that on, um, let's use that on this patch right here. That sounds like, uh, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so it's gonna create an ocean for me. Maybe? D did, I, did I cancel it? Okay, let's try that again. Create ocean for me. It closes its eyes, it lifts its abilities, and it, it just, it just terraforms the earth. Check that out. Oh, that is really... I like that. If you zoom out, you can, like, it terraforms the earth. That's really cool. Look, 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 look the, uh, the, he's bored over there. Okay. Okay, so we did that. So now we got an ocean. Well done. Oceans are the first step in creating life. You sense something trembling beneath your surface. Uh, what might that be? 
Oh, and look, we got a new giant. Oh, that's neat. It's a monkey. That's a forest giant. Let's go select him. Okay. The forest giant flows with life. The, its powers are allowed to create lush forests. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Use the forest giant to create a forest. Forests require water from the ocean. So, uh, the forest giant raises trees to turn wet wastelands and swamps into a forest. I'm assuming this is a wet wasteland. Does it say? Is this... Okay, I'm assuming it's dark because it's wet. So let's go ahead and raise a forest. It looks like it's the exact size of the... Oh, okay. Okay, so, so the... Okay, so the water icons mean it's wet. Okay, let's go ahead and use this. And we'll raise a forest right there and we'll see what happens. Who knows? This could be cool. Okay, so I have a... Um, I'm not sure. Is that a... Okay, that's considered to be a forest. It looks like more like a prairie or something to me. But, okay. Uh, the forest require water from the oceans. That You sense the life flowing back into your core. And the rock giant has gained a new ability. What does he want to do? Raise a mountain on dry wasteland to create desert. I'm not sure how I uh, how much I like this idea, but you know what? I'll do it. Uh, so let's go ahead. And let's see. The rock giant raises a mighty mountain high enough to stop rain traveling from the ocean. Okay, well I learned that in geography. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, you know it's it's kind of how uh, India works, if I remember correctly. So uh, and to turn surrounding wasteland into a desert, raising a mountain on a village will destroy it. Obviously, when cast on an ocean, it'll remove the ocean. So I think what I want to do then is I want to on dry wasteland. So this is wet wasteland, so I, I don't want this. So I want to go, no, no, you go over here. So I want, this is dry wasteland, so let's make a mountain right there. And let's see what happens. This is, this is interesting. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure where this is going, and I, I'm not sure if I like this being all red like that. That seems like that might be a bad thing to me, but let's go ahead and uh, let's watch. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm using right mouse click to move him on axis because I need to be using left mouse click to change the... Uh... Okay, so he kind of lifts the earth with his fist with super lifting powers. And so we're getting a mountain here. Interesting. So it's a mountain, and this is desert over here. So the water from the waste, from the river, or the uh, ocean cannot get over here. Okay. Awesome. Mountains can also cancel out oceans. Use all of your abilities to convert at least half of your patches into ha in. I'm assuming, that, I'm assuming that needs to be into habitable land. Uh, half your patches in oceans, mountain, deserts, and forests. So apparently those are gonna be. Uh, so those are habitable, and just the the dry whatever it is. Wasteland is not habitable but desert and stuff is. Okay, so I think I want to do, uh, I want you to give me another ocean over here. Let's make a larger ocean uh, because, you know, if we're talking about the Earth, the Earth is what, 70 some odd, I can't remember what the exact number is, 74% uh, water? And uh, I don't think we're gonna need quite that much for uh, for our oceans, but uh, go ahead and make a larger ocean here. Well, apparently that'll do it right there. What happens if I go ahead and do... I'm not allowed to do that. Can I do that there? Can I make a deeper ocean? Because there's just this bump here. No? Oh, well, wait, whoa. Wait, he is working. Okay, so I've got this kind of deep ocean. Okay, so he kind of leveled it out. That's cool. And we've got an ocean here, and he's just going to hang out in here. That's cool. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't know what it means. Experiment for different effects, though. I'm not sure what it, I'm not sure what that means. Let's uh, let's try one more thing before we move on. Let's make a mountain in this wet wasteland over here, because we tried we tried it in in dry wasteland earlier. So he just okay. He's just kind of do, doing his side shuffle. We tried it in dry wasteland. And that's what gave us this over here. This mountain in this desert. So I'm kind of curious, you know, what this will give us. And while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and have you put a forest over here, and let's see what that does. Because I'm curious. It looks like uh, cooldowns may be a factor in this move, and pick up and bat. Interesting. Okay, and that experience down there in the bottom? Okay, so let's see what a, what a mountain here does, and what a forest just here does when it's not wet. Okay, so he's gonna lift. Inter 
interesting. Okay, so this... Is, okay. So, that's just a regular mountain. This became a desert again. So, apparently doing it on a dry patch... Or on a wet patch didn't do anything. And this guy just seems... Incapable of making anything happen? Okay, so he just can't do it because it's not wet. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what our next objective is. Okay, so we're panning. Getting motion sick. Okay, so we got some desert. Got a mountain of some sort. Neat. Well done. You've accomplished your goal. You have learned to create oceans, forests, mountains, and deserts. Uh, you hope the life blooming from your lands will remain while you slumber. Click continue to view all of your achieved developments during this game. Was that it? The first era has been completed and we gained achievement to the first era. Finish the first era. Okay. So that was interesting. Um, I've unlocked the blueberry. Blueberries are fruit plants placed in the forest with the forest giant. The blueberry shrub, which can get up to 4 meters or 13 feet high, also grows bell-shaped flowers, and blueberries are delicious in muffins. Very interesting. Well, I think I'm going to end it right there. Uh, I'm not sure how long these episodes are going to be, uh, I'm, and I'm not sure how well Reyes is going to play out, or... Uh, hmm. Reyes? I, I read it. I'm thinking Deus Ex Machina is the way I'm reading that, so maybe Reyes... But I'm not sure how well this is going to work out. I'm not sure how long these episodes are going to be. But hey, we're going to try. We're going to see what happens. It could be fun. Uh, and I will end this right here. We'll go back to menu. And uh, we'll do the next tutorial next time. I will see you guys then.